At Carnegie Mellon University, innovation is part of our DNA. We are defined by our creative spark, tireless work ethic, and commitment to problem solving. We make a relevant impact on the lives of everyday people. A world leader in technology and robotics, we are creating smarter homes for families, homes that can alert us to dangers and better serve us as we age. The vision we have at the center is to develop technology to help people live independently. And that in itself might have a more profound effect on their quality of life because they feel better about themselves and what they can do. We develop new health tools to diagnose diseases like cancer, personalize treatments and predict the side effects of medications before billions of dollars are spent. What we need to be able to do is to build models that will enable us to predict how will a particular combination of tumor cells and a particular combination of tumor phenotypes respond to different combinations of drugs. We are unlocking the secrets of the human mind to discover new therapies for disorders like autism. What we're doing is trying to tie the biology of the brain, the neural activity, to the ideas that we're thinking about. It's not just a hot spot, it's a hot spot of information processing. And through our machine learning methods, we've been able to interpret what that hot spot of information is. We invent solutions across disciplines. This is the place where engineers, computer scientists, policymakers, economists, and designers work together for a more sustainable world. We are a leader in areas like green chemistry and sustainable design. You take these molecules that are not, don't go away easily in nature, that last in water forever, essentially, on, and Tamil peroxide or hammer them to oblivion in minutes. Carnegie Mellon is developing new technologies to make solar and other alternative energies practical and more affordable. So we can make plastics that conduct electricity or absorb light from the sun and turn uh, the light into electricity. We're discovering new ways to make our air and water cleaner and make burning fossil fuels less harmful to our planet. Hopefully the work we're now doing will point the way over the next decade or two, both in terms of technology, but also in terms of regulatory strategy. We don't just imagine the future, we create it. From the start, our strengths in research and the arts have grown together, yielding innovations that affect everything from how we communicate to the design of the places where we live and work. By combining our strengths in the arts with technology, we are creating the art forms of the future, like art that is aware of you. There's something about the way people move through space which is absolutely unique to them, and when you can capture that, have a computer which can understand that, they learn something about themselves that they may not have even seen. We get out of the ivory tower and into the world. GigaPan and all of the Global Connections project is fundamentally about connecting people to each other and to the environment, in other words, to, to our world. So if people are humanizing each other, if there's conversations happening between people who would never talk to each other, then we're succeeding. Carnegie Mellon has always responded to the needs of the real world where economic challenges are global. International banks and financial organizations seek the counsel of our monetary policy experts. The public is, is, is developing a taste for uh, quality thinkers so that I think we have an opportunity at Carnegie Mellon in particular to leverage our, our, our understanding of the world. We prepare future engineers to manage innovation in multinational environments. Carnegie Mellon is a world leader in social and decision sciences, exploring how psychological and economic factors shape decision making. The work I do is, um, is a combination of economics, uh, information security, and psychology. Why people reveal personal data or they don't. We capitalize on the synergies between information systems and public policy and deal with new challenges like credit card debt and global cyber threats. We fearlessly reinvent our areas of excellence. We will be at the forefront of next generation computing 
and the communication technologies that will drive our interconnected world. We've expanded the real world into this virtual world of cyberspace and with that comes a new type of citizenship that's required. We need to interact in this virtual world with the same level of social responsibility. Each day, internet users come into contact with ideas that originated at Carnegie Mellon. So you've seen these squiggly characters that you have to type. So we invented those here at Carnegie Mellon. That thing is called a CAPTCHA. And so what we're doing now is we're getting people, while they're typing those squiggly characters on the internet, to help us digitize books. We build on our existing technology expertise to move into new areas, revolutionizing education, seeking to understand the origins of the universe, and transforming science itself. It's really not just about physics, but physics and computer science and statistics, and uh, using computers to help understand the universe. And, uh, Carnegie Mellon, like no other university, uh, excels in the interdisciplinary. At Carnegie Mellon, we imagine the impossible. We are entrepreneurial educators, virtual storytellers, eco-visionaries, computational biologists, interactive artists, and behavioral economists. We are architects of change. We invite you to support our new ideas and help create a better future. Together, we can inspire innovation.